everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Sims 4 Dynasty. This is our first real let's play of the Dynasty series because in the last episode, we basically just introduced you guys to the character. I read you our main family's backstory, the Goldings, and introduced you guys to each of the characters. And then I also showed you their amazing, gorgeous, fabulous, beautiful mansion. But in this episode, we are going to get started with our story. Before we begin, I just want to say, so right now I am a little less than 10 subscribers away from 500 subscribers and I would really love to do a Q&A for my channel because I've never done one before. So you can tweet at me, you can put your questions in the comments below, and if you have a question you can put hashtag MiraRay500 Q&A, so I'll put that right here and then also in the description below, I'll put that hashtag in the description below too. So you guys can ask me anything about my personal life or if you're curious about like who I am or what I do or how I make my videos or how I got started, anything. You guys can ask me anything and I will answer, I'll try to answer all of them. If they end up being a lot, a lot of questions, then I might just answer the most asked questions. So yeah, I will probably post that video. I mean, like I probably can't post it until I get 500 subscribers. So hopefully that will be in a few days because I've kind of noticed a, a trend of it going up. But if not, I mean, it'll be posted next week probably anyway, because I already have my schedule for the week. So yeah, it will probably be posted sometime next week. So yeah, but before we begin today's episode, if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and to turn on your notifications so you never miss another one of my videos. And with that, let's go ahead and play The Sims 4 Dynasty. So any questions you guys have about the backstories, you might want to look back at the last episode. I haven't done any of the backstories yet for any of the other families that are in San Mai Shuno either. So for those, I have not put a website yet of the backstories like I was supposed to. I really want to. Maybe I'll put those in the description below. Check the description below. I will probably copy and paste it in there for now. I was like going to do a, a Tumblr, but to be honest, I can't, I don't understand Tumblr. I've never posted on Tumblr. I've looked on Tumblr before, but I've never like had a Tumblr account. So I was trying to figure it out and I couldn't. And I would like so, like a more like a website thing of something that I could like edit the stories and stuff instead of just like one post. So I'll probably look into like a Wix website or like a Squarespace website, one that's free, one that's like easy. And then hopefully by the next video, I will have that for you guys. So right now, so our story is starting. So if you guys saw the last episode too, you saw that Astrid Golding, who's our main character, her father is getting married to his, his prep school sweetheart, but it's only been like, it's been like less than a year since their mother passed away. So they're pretty, they're not okay with it. Astrid and her brother are not totally okay with it. Astrid's just very, like, she's very entitled. She feels like she should be the one who's, like, kind of in charge of the family. Like, I guess really the one making the decisions of their personal life, if that makes sense. So it's actually the wedding is planned to be tomorrow. So right now it's Friday. It's a 9 p.m. on a Friday. So they've all gone to school. So you guys will get to meet some of Astrid's friends as well. So I mentioned in the last episode that Astrid's two best friends are Melody Lavoisier and Alexis Ripley. I really hope I'm saying her last name right. I probably should have picked a, a name that was easier to say, but it just sounded so fancy. And I was like, I have to have this name. So they are all in a club called the Social Lights. So this I mean, it's really like their big Fred group. They're really all well known because all of these girls come from really rich, wealthy families, as you guys can tell by Astrid Golding. So Melody and Alexis, both of their fathers are pretty good friends with Astrid's father, Harrison. So they all just kind of do business together. They're all just very, very successful. So they, yeah, they're all good friends. They've all kind of known each other. That's kind of how they met was like through the families. So they, all the families are kind of pretty close friends. So all these girls have been friends for a really long time. So yeah, so they're the social lights they're kind of the ones that everyone looked up to they're all global superstar superstars everyone knows who they are really well they've just they're all kind of become fashion icons they are all just really successful in what they do so we will get to know them as well and i can also read you guys their family descriptions but if you also want to see, see their family descriptions you can look in the video description below because i will post their family's descriptions in 
there too. So this right here is their hangout. So yeah, as I said, it's, it's a Friday night. So I downloaded this from the gallery too. So this is the Skyfall Lounge. It's very popular. So this is their hangout. So they're hanging out here on the Friday night. Basically all the girls, this is their little VIP lounge area. As you can see, there is a bodyguard blocking off this area. They have to be a proper celebrity or global celebrity to get in here. But this is really like the girls hangout place. So, I mean, we've got vampires here because I just saw him like rush through here and I was like, oh my goodness. So yeah, this is like, this is the hottest spot in town. We are in the rich district here. So yeah, this is like where everyone goes to hang out. So the girls were just talking. They are going to get another drink, of course, like the, the best drink because they can afford it. It's also happy hour, so drinks are half off. Oh no, are they half off? No, they're double the price. They are double the price. When, why? I don't know why they are double the price, but they are. So Astrid and her friends are getting some very expensive drinks, but basically Astrid's just complaining to them about her stepmother and just trying to figure out the best way, or not her stepmother yet, but soon to be stepmother, just trying to figure out the best way that they can stop the wedding because that is really what she wants to do and it's cruel and it's out there and like she knows that most people would probably judge her for like trying to stop her father's wedding but she knows her friends and her friends know her and oh my gosh i'm sorry guys there's this fruit fly that's been flying around for like i swear it was here like two days ago and it will not leave so um, if i just keep swatting the air that's why it's because it's fruit fly keeps getting in my face okay so astrid's talking and alexis is really like her and melody are very close too like they're really great friends but her and alexis have been best friends since they were little and that is like really her her best best friend so alexis so her story is interesting too so you guys will get to see that in the description but basically her father owns like every or her family owns like every single business like they own these restaurants they own lounges they own vet clinics <laughs> they own also what are the other ones they own like the the fancy shopping mall that's in san maishuno and like all these other malls too and he's currently developing a new world called new crest so alexis's father is in charge of developing all of that land over there and he also owns like all these businesses so that is her family so that's how it kind of get, gives you an idea of how wealthy and powerful they are and and Alexis needs to go to the bathroom. Actually, speaking of, this is her father right here. So this is her father, Talon. So he is also, so, okay. So basically the story with him is that her mother and her father got divorced several years ago. So he has been one of the most wanted bachelors in the area for several years. And Alexis has just kind of been like scaring off all of the women that tried to marry him, try to date him because she was hoping one day that her and her father, her father and her mother will get back together one day. But her father's actually just married someone that she does not like because she's for sure a gold digger. And for some reason, Alexis cannot scare her away. So we will meet her at some point in this video as well. Okay, so yes, everyone, they are getting their drinks and such. So they are kind of like, this is a very crowded area. So I think right now they're gonna be like, okay, this is enough of people. We're going to go sit in our little lounge area so we can have some privacy and away from everyone. Actually, maybe they should go into the hot tub. This is how close Astrid and Alexis is. They have the same hat. So they went shopping together. They got the same hat apparently. But so yeah, they're just hanging out in the hot tub together, basically trying to figure out the best way to stop the wedding or things that they can make complicated for it. But I think basically Astrid and Alexis have decided. So basically they're gonna confront Victoria. So we will get to see that when that happens. But it is now the wedding day, guys. So it's a little dreary right now in San Maishuna, but I think the weather's gonna clear up in a bit. So let's go ahead and head over to Golding Estate to see how the wedding plans are going. Okay, so we are back here at Golding Estate. So it looks like Victoria is a little bit stressed out just because some things have been happening. She knows that things are not going well with her soon to be stepdaughter and stepson. So right now she's just freshening up. She's in her wedding dress right now. So you guys are the first to see. So it's not too, too fancy because, uh, well, I mean, this is her idea of not too fancy because it's her second marriage, but it's still very, very elegant, you guys. And you guys can see it is very elegant. The design and detail on it is beautiful. And then she's got this gorgeous diamond necklace on. 
that Harrison has given her. So right now she is just getting things ready for the wedding. So it looks like the weather has cleared up. The wedding is supposed to start at 12. So here we have the setup. This is the wedding arch. This is where the ceremony is supposed to happen. We've got the flower petals and then just like everything very pink and purple. And then, so we have a few things. So this came with the house that was like when I downloaded it from the gallery. So this is kind of the reception area where dinner all is. And then we have up here where like the dance floor and the bar is. So it looks like Harrison right now is feeling very playful, but he's very, very excited for his wedding, obviously. So for right now, I, yep, wedding. All right, invited household sims. We've got everyone coming. And then Astrid, so Jack on the voice here. What's up, oh, I missed that. Uh, oh, it looks like everyone's calling her. She's just so popular. Okay, so the wedding is about to begin. Are you ready to start? Let's start. Okay, so the first thing that Astrid is going to need to do, she's going to try to psych out her future stepmother. Why is he wearing this? This is not what I had picked out for you. I do not know. This is, no, this is not your wedding outfit. You need to change, like, right now. So this is your wedding outfit. There you go. Okay, so for Astrid, she didn't dress up in her nice, like, super, super fancy dress because she didn't think it was worth it, but she still dressed up in something designer because she knows that a lot of paparazzi and famous, famous people are, and important people are going to be here. But it looks like she's ready to go confront ah. Harley, guys. So right now, she's just expressing how much that they are never going to be wanted in this family and how much they are never going to actually be part of this family, even if she thinks that she's going... Why is she so close to her, though? Like, that's a little bit too close, Astrid. But basically that they are never going to really be a golding. So Harley is, I feel like, just like... I mean, basically we are because my mother is going to marry your father. So you need to stop freaking out about it. So yeah, guys, honestly, I don't know how well they're going to get along at all as stepsisters. This, I just, it's not going to go well. But Victoria's down here. This is not her wedding dress either. I do not know why this is picked out for her. So she needs to change into her actual, actual wedding dress. Looks like her and Harrison are doing their little first look. So they've seen each other now. So the guests should be arriving very soon. So they guys are, oh, I was like, wait, where did the wedding arch go? It's in the front of the house, not the back. So all of our guests are here. So we can kind of start saying hi to everybody. So we have uh, Madeline, not Madeline's. We have Melody's mother here, Jacqueline the voice here. So, oh my gosh, guys, these people like really did, I don't, Okay, oh, that's the musician. I was like, I have no idea who you are. And then uh, we have Melody here. So let's take a look at everyone's formal outfits, everyone's dresses. So this is, oh my gosh, my camera is going insane right now. I do not know what's happening. This is Melody's, if, when, when she comes in. Oh, she, if she comes in, she's not coming inside. But this is Melody's formal outfit, as you guys can see. So this is Melody and her mother. I do not know what's going on with the walls right now. Um, so this is Melody and her mother. So this is gorgeous and her hair is like up really nice. And this is her mother. Mother. She's got a gorgeous embroidered dress on that probably costs like thousands and thousands of dollars. So this is her mother, Jacqueline. So I will actually read you Melody's family's description and I apologize if I'm like actually not saying their last name right. Or I like, I looked it up and I know how to say it, but it just it does, never sticks in my head. So uh, their family description is Melody Lavoisier is the only child of Lawson Lavoisier, the hospital chief of, chief, the hospital's chief of staff, and Jacqueline Lavoisier, the charity icon. She has always looked up to her parents, but she has recently been feeling more pressure to choose a career path. And the stress has been affecting her personal life. Luckily, she has her boyfriend, Julian, and best friends, Astrid and Alexis, to help keep her mind off of things. Things. So you guys will meet her boyfriend Julian too, who actually I think this is him right here. Uh, nope, that's not him. So we'll meet him though because he was invited to the wedding. So his parents, his father is the mayor of San Myshuno. So he's super, super famous and big and also has a lot of reputation things that are happening that we will get into in another episode. But you guys will get to meet him as well. So yeah, at least you guys got to see him. So this is Savinder Krishna. His family, both of his parents are surgeons. So they are very wealthy too. They're pretty well known. They're the number one surgeons in San Myshuno. And let's see who else is here that we can see. That is just the bartender that seems like very unhappy to be here. Um, and then I think that is most, I don't know where everyone else is at the moment, but they should be getting here soon. It looks like someone else is here, Alexandra Casanova. So this is Julian, Melody's boyfriend's mother. So she's the wife of the mayor. So yeah, so we'll, we'll get to see all of them later on. But right now, I don't know if 
Astrid has confronted Victoria yet. Oh, there's Talon, that's Alexis's father. So Astrid is going to find Victoria and confront her. So it looks like Astrid has found Victoria and she is, well, she actually seems very, oh, Victoria's yelling back. So basically Astrid is just telling her that she'll never be her mother and that her father never is will never love her as much as she loved her mother. So this is just basically, guys, Astrid just confronting her, telling her how like, oh my gosh, I just feel like she's establishing her dom dominance in this household and just saying like, Victoria will never be her mother. And I feel like Victoria, like she's a pretty nice person in general, but the fact that Astrid's doing this, Victoria loves Harrison so, so much and she's not going to let his daughter get in the way, his very immature daughter. So he, she's just telling him right now how childish she's being and that this is ridiculous. Like this is their wedding day and it's gonna happen whether she likes it or not. So it looks like Astrid's like, no, no, that this is not true. That's not gonna happen. I do not know what you're talking about, but oh my gosh. Okay, Victoria has stood up now. I think she's had enough of this. Astrid, I do not know who she's texting, but she's probably like telling Alexis or Melody just like what happened and she's like laughing at it, laughing about it. But I, I think that Astrid's realized too that even if they do get married, I think that Astrid thinks that she can make it stop whenever she wants. So she's brushing off right now. And she's like, this is not over. I'm gonna make your life basically like not happy at all if you're going to marry my father. So that is what Astrid has established here. So you guys, this relationship and I, this whole family life is going to be very interesting with Astrid's just determination to make them break up. Right now though, guys, we, they, they do need to get married. It's about time for them to get married. So I think that Harrison's like, all right, we need to start this wedding now so that the party can start too. So we're going to have them go get married at this little wedding arch in front of their house. So this is really, guys, I mean, just beautiful. And I think that this is definitely something that Victoria was envisioning. Like she said, just at the house is fine. She doesn't need to get married at some like really nice venue or anything like that. She thinks that just setting up the nice house and like the the reception area in the living room and all of that is like she was perfectly content with okay guys so they are getting ready for that ceremony all the guests should be coming out soon and we are going to have them go ahead and start getting married you guys this is actually like very very beautiful and gorgeous and i like this a lot okay the ceremony is happening you guys so despite astrid's efforts she's realized that she was not able to stop them from getting married, but she just sees marriage as like, just something that, that'll that that'll go away. Like she doesn't see it as permanent at all. So she just knows that she can easily make them get divorced. It looks like everyone, all of our wedding guests are coming to see everything, coming to see the ceremony. So you guys will get to see them as well. So guys, they are married now. They are like, yeah, they are officially the Golding. So we need to change her last name too. So this ceremony is over you guys. So that, I mean, like, honestly, it's so beautiful here too it's a little dark though i don't know why it's so cloudy but yeah it's very very dark here um so that was the ceremony so we're going to go ahead and start the reception so we're gonna get the dj over here and then we are going to also get that cake out as well okay you guys so you guys can take a look at some of our other guests too so this is talon ripley this is alexis's father and then we have so this is his wife this is demi ripley so this is his gold digging wife she was a stylist before she met Talon. She was not, she's not well known at all until she married Talon and then she started getting famous and she just wooed Talon and was able to get him to marry her. So she is not liked at all by Alexis and by Astrid because Alexis doesn't like her. For the other guests, we have Johnson Krishna. So this is the surgeons and then it looks like he needs to change his outfit here. This, I don't know what happened. Okay, so now he's in his formal outfit. So I love the MC control center. It's so much easier to change them. Um, so that's his mother. This is Vandana Krishna. So they are all here. They're a very wealthy family. This, however, guys, I'm realizing I shrunk it because it was very big and I made it smaller. And now it looks funny when a DJ is actually here. So I'm going to change this back to the original size. So now we can see that. So everyone is in the, well, not everyone, but we're we're starting like the dancing and stuff here. So I think we're gonna have Harley would for sure be the first one on the dance floor. So she's gonna start dancing and then hopefully everyone else will join too. And then we need to also grab our cake here. So I'll probably just keep, yeah, I'll bring the cake downstairs. So for the cake, 
Okay, so the cake is ready here. So we're going to bring the cake downstairs into the other reception area. So this right here is really, really nice. So Asher's down here by herself. She's like, I'm sick of this. I'm not gonna go hang out with anyone because this is ridiculous. She honestly probably just wants to see her friends and go hang out with her friends and just complain to them. So we're gonna bring the cake down here to the sweetheart table. Okay, so she has put the cake down. So we need to add that wedding topper. And then we're going to bring the guests all down here so we have Victoria and Harrison they're gonna go sit at the sweetheart table we're gonna bring everyone else down here as well I feel like Astrid, Astrid is much more sour about the wedding than her brother Alistair is because Alistair like is just sad because like he misses his mother more than anything but I think he like would want his dad to be happy Astrid on the other hand is not okay with it she also, because Victoria works with her father, like she's now the president, she's been promoted. So she just thinks that she's like working her way up because she's sleeping with the owner of the business. So she doesn't think she deserves any of this. She definitely does not think that, like Astrid, I mean, Astrid thinks she deserves it, but Astrid's also like the daughter of the owner. So she's kind of a hypocrite to be honest, but uh, so that's just kind of my thoughts on what they think. And then for Alistair, so he's on his way down here too. So all the guests are kind of coming down here. They're gonna put the wedding cake topper on here and then they're going to cut the cake So actually, I don't know where Harley is But we need to add the wedding topper now before the wedding ends So I think that Victoria is just going to go ahead and do that Asher's with here with her brother and they're just sitting by themselves because she's like this is ridiculous Alexis is here too. So you can see her formal outfit So we can have Alexis come here and I feel like Astrid's like, oh my gosh, thank gosh you're here And yeah, you guys can see her formal outfit too. So this is is really pretty she actually has the same hair that melody has they have the same hairstyle which i thought was interesting but they're like best friends so i feel like they decided to do that i don't know why melody's hanging out in the wine cellar but she kind of needs to come down here okay so they have just added the wedding cake topper so we are going to go ahead and have them cut the wedding cake and then we will call all the guests to come get some cake so they're all celebrating and that whoa yo lady you need to move you you need to i don't know what you're singing about but she needs to get out of the way i do not know why she's singing but when you can ask uh yeah let's call everyone to the meal let's call everyone to the cake um we're also going to fill the fountain with some fruit punch and then i think that astrid is just kind of like she's feeling very confident you guys so i think she is like feeling confident enough it looks it's it, she must have had some alcohol or something i feel like her father would totally let her do that even though she's underage plus she's like in the house with family and stuff too so i think she's feeling confident enough to throw a drink at victoria you guys i feel like she's just had enough of this like they're married now but she is like she is ready to ruin that wedding and she's doing this in front of everyone too okay so astrid has found victoria in the hall of the house it looks like they have a bit of an audience. <gasps> she did it, you guys! She shoved her drink in her face in her white wedding dress, too. Astrid's like, oh, cry me a river. She is just like, oh, I'm sorry, guys. This, like, is honestly the worst view ever. She shoved her, too, you guys. Astrid is relentless. And she's yelling at her now, too. I like how Melody is standing there, and all she has to do is go to the bathroom. She's, like, not concerned with this at all. So Victoria is just like feeling confident. She was walking away from that. She's like, I, this is ridiculous. This girl is so immature. I'm changing out of my dress. And like not that many people saw, but I think she is going to, I don't think she would go tell her father, but I think she's just like changing out of her dress. Her father would totally see it though. Like Harrison would be like, what happened? She'd be like, well, your daughter is a little bit crazy. She's spoiled. That's for sure. Honestly, she is so spoiled. So Astrid has just had enough of this. She is out of here. She's like going going to her friend and she's like, come on guys, we are leaving. So guys, that is the end of the wedding. So the wedding is over. So despite Astrid's efforts, the wedding still happened. They still got married, but Astrid is going to spend all of her efforts to try to make them get divorced and try to prove to her father that Victoria is not good for her. She thinks that Victoria is like a gold digger and not actually marrying her father for love, but little does she know that Victoria actually does love her father. So yeah, you guys. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed. This is our first real like let's play of the episode. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, don't forget 
to ask those questions so I can do my Q&A video so you guys can use the hashtag that's in the description, MiraRay500 Q&A. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love this series so much. It's so interesting. It's so dramatic. There's so much going on. And I love it. I love the outfits. I love the houses and everything. I love the characters. There's just so much to them. So look out for when the next episode will be posted on my schedule on my Twitter at MiraRay underscore. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give this video a big, big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.